Hello, my name is Jessalyn Walker, and I'm going to be filling you guys in on what our sustainable development goals were. So our goals were to, goal number three, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all ages. Goal number four, ensure inclusive and equitable equality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Goal number 16, promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all, and build effective, accountable, and inclusive institutions at all levels. All of these goals play heavily into education, including but not limited to our education. Next, I'm going to be filling you guys in on who the Alliance of the Arts is. So the Alliance of the Arts is a not-for-profit visual and performing arts center located in Southwest Florida off of McGregor Boulevard. They've been actively and engaging in the community, connecting people through art, providing events year round, inspiring through art classes and stimulating through theater productions. The Alliance of the Arts is a creative space that spurs and supports self-expression, imagination and equity. Their mission is to transform lives and improve the community through the artistic expression. Why is this important, do you ask? Arts and crafts care for subject psychological health as well as play a part in the treatment and anxiety for emotional disorders. The arts can play a major role in public mental health care. It can also be a wonderful source in education and stimulation. According to Mental Health in America, in 2022, Florida was ranked 30th in the nation for the youth mental health. Florida was also ranked 25th for adult mental health and 49th for access to care for both youth and adults. This shows that we can definitely take mental health care a little bit more seriously and possibly provide more outlets for people to be able to explore those options. art for at least 35 minutes can lower cortisol stress hormone levels. Viewing art can increase empathy, tolerance, and critical thinking skills due to processing emotion, processing shapes, patterns, and colors. The longer you look at a piece, the more you can increase analytical and problem-solving skills. Creating art has been shown to lower stress levels, can increase blood flow to the reward center of the brain, increase focus, and helps process emotions. Even if you do not believe you can draw, just by coloring a pre-draw thing can provide all the same benefits. Art therapy has even been proven to helpful for many people with PTSD, and helps process dramatic events and emotions. In a study from 2008 by Mary Forgreed, Ellen Winner, Andrea Norton and Gottfried Slong found that children with who received instrumental music training for three years or more outperformed their counterparts in math, reading, and language arts. Yeah, the most of heart. We had the pleasure of volunteering at the Alliance for the Arts in their partnership event with the Fort Myers YMCA for the Bunny Brush Egg Hunt. This event allowed families to receive brunch at the Fort Myers YMCA followed by a short walk to the Alliance for the Arts where the children could paint vineyard paintings, brace to match egg colors, and do an Easter egg hunt and then feel the foam. All the while, their parents sipped water or mimosas. This event helped raise money for both the YMCA and Alliance for the Arts. This event allowed us to learn more about the Alliance for the Arts while serving the community and the young children who will soon help shape this wonderful community as well. In our experience, we were able to meet some wonderful leaders and many very polite children who were excited to finger paint and race each other for eggs. Jessalyn and Fanuel helped at the finger painting table while I worked the mimosa cart with another FGCU volunteer named Chloe. During this event, every person I spoke with was excited to learn how FGCU had so many volunteers at this event and thanked us for helping. While this event provided us with an amazing opportunity, we had wished to be more involved with the Alliance for the Arts, but struggled to find events we could all do with limited schedules. While this was a setback, this solidified our ongoing interest in working with the Alliance for the Arts and we will continue to volunteer with them as long as we are able. This event allowed us to take active roles in foundational elements of civic engagement, from Jesslyn and Fanuel leading children in finger painting, all of us associating with the parents, and I got to serve water and mimosas to the parents as well. 
We all also associated with other volunteers and workers at the YMCA as well as for the Alliance for the Arts. I've learned from this project how impactful art can be in all forms for all ages. This project helped our community partner by showing kids that art can be used as a platform to express themselves when they cannot use words or actions to do so. A parting thought for our project is that art is a universal way for everyone to express themselves and share their feelings with the world to help them connect with one another. I truly enjoyed working with the Alliance of the Arts. By partnering with them, it allowed me to be put in a place of leadership and I was able to touch and reach out to my community through providing artistic expression and education. This project helped me learn how just something as simple as serving some refreshments can help bring a community closer together. I was able to see a bunch of other wonderful volunteers who care deeply about our community pull together to create a wonderful experience for families from all areas of life. I learned more about how the Alliance for the Arts operates and how they have been actively engaged in the community for almost 60 years and continue to be a pillar in Southwest Florida. I think everyone should at the very least attend an Alliance for the Arts event if they're not able to volunteer with them. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna explode. <laughs>